Hey, what's up, guys? Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so I know a little of you, uh, little, a little of you. I know some of you are a little confused with how to meal prep and how to get it done. So we just want to touch base on that and you know, kind of explain it thoroughly and make it as simple as possible. Because when you're looking at all of those numbers and you're trying to figure out how many meals you're supposed to make, it can get a little. Um, you could you can get a little frustrated or confused, yeah. so we're about to simplify it for you. Um, the first time around, it'll take a little bit of time for you to get it done. Um, but think about it this way: it'll just take two to three hours for you to meal prep all of these foods, get your numbers, and then for the rest of the week, you don't have to worry about anything. All you have to yeah. worry about is pulling it out of the fridge and eating it. Okay. So it's gonna so be great. On yeah, yeah, it, you'll be on autopilot, so it'll be good. Okay. Um, so we'll start by first, and you can go ahead and follow along with the video getting. Um, your numbers as we slowly go through each step. But first, let's go ahead and get your daily calorie intake, how many calories you're going to be eating a day. And all you're going to do is get your body weight and times it by 10. So if you weigh 150 pounds, it's going to be 1,500 calories a day. That's going to be the first step. So but write that number down. Write it down right now. Write your number down. That way you know. So you need to have your numbers. And then, um, you know, everything else is going to be easy. Once you get your numbers, <laughs> everything else is pretty simple. Yeah, it'll be smooth sailing. Um, so go ahead and write that number down, whatever your daily calorie intake is going to be. And then your next step is we're going to go ahead and input it on my fitness pal. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up um, my phone. I'm going to go ahead and go to the so app. So you already know your number, right? So whatever your body weight is times 10, write that number down. And now we're going to figure out your high carb day, what your numbers are for that day. And we're going to figure out your low carb day. So we're going to have two different sections um, of numbers that you're going to abide by. And you're going to just jot those down. All right. So we're in my fitness pal. You're going to go to more. You're going to go to goals is going to be the next one that you're going to click on. After goals, you're going to go to calorie and macronutrient goals. And then we're going to go ahead and just stick with 1,200 calories just to keep it simple. So from here, you'll go ahead and enter however many calories you're supposed to eat a day. So go ahead and enter that. Hit the check mark. Now we're going to figure out how many grams of, and you know, just for simplicity, we won't think about fat too much when we're doing our meal prepping. We'll really think about getting our carbs and our protein in line. And then your fat will kind of just fall into place with like, you know, you just eating, either eating like nuts or you know, a lot of your meats have fat in them. So let's just focus on the protein and the carbs just to make it simple. So on your high carb days, which will be the days that you hit those weights, which are going to be three days a week, uh -huh. you're going to go ahead and put your carbs at 50%. Your protein is going to stay the same no matter what. It's going to stay at 35%. And then your fat on your weight days is going to be at 15%. So once you enter those numbers, just go ahead and hit the little check mark. This is going to be your high carb day. This is going to be your high carb day. So this is the day where, you know, you need that, those extra calories to really get you through your workout. So this, this is going to be, this is going to be the fun day. Yeah, the fun day. <laughs> this is when those carbs are going to play a, a huge role to, yeah, great to get you through that workout. So if you can see on this screen, you'll see carbohydrates, 150 grams, protein, 105 grams, fat, 20 grams. So those are the numbers that I want you to go ahead and jot down. So you're going to put weight days. This is how many carbs I need. This is how much protein I need. And this is how much fat I need. And then after that, you're going to go back in there and we're going to get your, um, your resting days and your cardio days where your carbs are going to be lower. So you'll go back in here and now your carbs are going to be at 15%. Protein is going to stay the same. And then your fat, you're going to go ahead and increase your fat to 50%. Hit that check mark. Hit that check mark. And now you have your new grams of carbs and your new grams of fat. So your carbs are going to be 45 grams um, per day. And then your fat's going to be 67 grams per day. So now we have those numbers. Write it down. So you, we already got our, our high carb days and our low carb days. And our high carb days are on our weight days. And our low carb days are on our cardio and our rest days. So once you get those numbers, the next thing you're going to do you're gonna go ahead and divide. Let's start with the low, because we're on our low carb. Yeah, let's start with the low carb day. So we have 45 grams of carbs per day. We're gonna do 45 divided by four because we have three meals and a snack. So this is gonna let us know how many carbs, how many grams of carbs we need per meal when we start to meal prep. So what you should have by now is you should have two sets of numbers. You should have your high carb day, which is gonna be three days out of the week, 
And, and then you're going to divide that number, that total number, the daily numbers by four, because we have seen that if our clients do three meals and one snack, they see lots of results and they end up really changing their body composition. So you should have that left side high carbs and you have what you need if you were to eat those three meals in one snack, which would be four eating, uh, four servings of eat of um, frequency when you eat. And then on that other side, same exact thing, that the low carb day, and then you're gonna have um, the numbers for your averages for each meal. Gonna, we, we need to figure out how many meals you need for the week. So we're only gonna do this for three weeks. It's gonna be challenging. It's gonna take a little bit of work to know your numbers, but once you get the numbers, you're gonna be, you're gonna be fine. And literally all you're gonna do is just kind of abide to that and prep um, with those numbers in mind. All right, so um, you got all your numbers and now we need to really figure out, um, so like I said, we're not gonna do this for a long time. We only got three weeks to really nail this. Um, so, but we need to figure out how many meals you need to cook for the week. That way Which you Which we've know already exactly figured that out for you. What we to got do. it. Exactly, so we're gonna make it easy for you. So let's take a look at this you are going to have that high carb day and that low carb day. So on the high carb day, you're gonna to need to cook six lunch um, slash dinners. You're gonna to need to cook three breakfasts. You're gonna, you need to have three snacks. So really, you just need to have six, cause these, these, the breakfast and snacks are a little bit easier to get yeah, to. Yeah, cause those ones will kind of fall into place after you have your lunch and dinners planned out. Exactly. Um, and then on low carb day, these are gonna be days that are gonna be really important because it's gonna be challenging cause you're not gonna have as much carbs as you normally have. So we need eight lunch or dinners. And we already know the numbers for our macro, our protein, carbs, and fats. And we'll go back to those numbers later on when we start to right. figure out what foods we're gonna use. Um, and then you need four of the breakfast and four snacks. So um, we're gonna transition to actually putting the food into the fitness pal to figure out if your numbers are matching up. That way you know if you need to take things out or you need to add things in for each meal. All right? Okay, so now that we have our, how many grams we need per meal, so we're gonna focus on our lunch and dinner because that's gonna be the creme de la creme. Huh. Um, we're gonna figure out how much as far as weight goes so the ahead. first thing we got to figure out what we're going to cook so what yeah what, so you'll, what two proteins are you going to cook this week um what carbs are you going to cook so have an idea of what you're going to cook chicken breast and brown rice so i'm going to go okay. ahead and go to that'll food, be one of your meals chicken and breast then and then i'm going to enter i'm going to type in chicken breast and of course you can do chicken thigh, you can do whatever protein source you wanna do, but just type it in here after you figure out what it's gonna be. So let's go with the boneless, skinless chicken breast. So I know that I need um, 26 grams of protein. So I'm gonna scroll down here, and right now I'm getting 32 grams of protein, so I know that's way too high. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back up here and I'm going to adjust this. Let's see how many grams, I mean, how many um, grams of protein I'll get from there. So now I see that I have 26 grams of protein with four ounces. So I know, I'm gonna go ahead and write it down, I need four ounces of the chicken breast in my meals. Now and we- your, And your protein stays pretty much the same. So, yeah, so you, you literally have to can worry keep- about your protein consistent through your high carb meals, um, lunch and dinners, and your low carb lunch and dinners. Yep. Pretty much keep exactly the same. You figure out the protein, everything else is pretty simple. Um, so let's now, say- Now let's say you're gonna do, what we recommend is doing two proteins um, and two different carbs or right. two different veggies, but let's start with the two proteins. So we're doing our chicken breast. We mm -hmm. know how many ounces we need, which is four ounces in order to get 26 grams of protein which is what you're going to need for <clears throat> every meal you have for every roughly. meal that you have so protein is going to be the easy one um and then outside of that let's say i want to do salmon as my other protein source so i'm going to go ahead and click on salmon and i know another cool thing with this app is right now we're typing in the um the the item but there's actually an option on here where you can use a um this barcode right here to the upper right corner, and you can scan uh, the food. So really, if you take advantage of that because you can get really oh, yeah. precise on exactly what it exactly is. Exactly what you have. And once you start putting it in there, 
Um, it'll just pop up. Too. So we'll do an example. So I'll hit the barcode. And here is some potatoes. And then boom, it pulls it right up. So I don't even have to search it. So let's say that's what you're going to choose. But let's go back to the salmon. Um, so right now we're at, it's saying 42 grams. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I don't need 42 grams per meal. So I'm going to go ahead and change the serving to, let's say, five. Oh, look yep, at that. Perfect. So went ahead and changed it to five. Now it put me at 26.2 grams of protein, which is perfect. So now I know that I need five ounces of my salmon. So I'm going to go ahead and write down that I need four ounces of chicken mm -hmm. for each one of my meals and five ounces of salmon because these are the two, the two proteins that I chose to cook for this week. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go back in, like, okay, the potatoes that I just scanned. Let's say that these are the potatoes, the carb source that I want to cook. So I know that on my high carb days, I get 37 grams per meal. So right now the carbs is at 25 grams. So I'm going to go ahead and increase this just a little. And I'm going to do it by ounces. So when I put it on my scale, um, I know exactly how much it weighs. And let's increase this. It's probably going to be easy to go by grams though. You can, I guess you can do any, you can, you can do Yeah, you can really or, do what, whichever is no. easier. So if you um, do grams, you can change your scale to gram setting. If you do ounces, you can change your scale to the ounce setting. Um, but right here, so I need eight ounces of the potatoes. That puts me at 38 grams and I need 37. So it doesn't have to be super, super precise. We just want you to get close to that number. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and write down that I need eight ounces of potatoes. And then let's say my other um, so need another carb, carb source is gonna be brown rice. So I'm gonna go ahead and put brown rice in here, Uncle Ben. And I get, again, the 37 grams of uh, carbs. This already put me at 36 grams. So I know I just need a cup of that. So you'll have a measuring cup. Yeah. And I'm gonna go ahead and write down one cup of brown rice and this will already be what you know you want to eat for the week so you have your two proteins and your two carbs um when you're putting this in just literally act like you're logging your food for the day that way you can see what the total day will look like if you eat everything so when you're putting your protein in put your protein in and put your carbon together and then just kind of take it through the full day of eating all those um those carbs to figure i mean to yes. figure out if your total matches up um, and then do the same thing on that other day too. So you'll, you'll have those two options to, um, of proteins and carbs, and you're going to just kind of be proactive and figure out if you're moving in the right direction. But if you get close to the averages that we calculated for the four times you're going to eat, you're going to be perfectly fine. And you're going to hit exactly where you need to be. Yeah. But let's go ahead and head on over to the scale and we'll show you how to weigh out your food. Okay. So now we're getting, you know, you've already cooked all of your chicken. You've already cooked your brown rice. You've already cooked your salmon and your potatoes. So now that everything's already cooked, you're going to go ahead and grab all of your Tupperware, grab all the Tupperware. All right. And then what we're going to do, we're going to grab our first Tupperware. And then if you notice here, I already have it set on ounces. So if you change it, yeah. oh, sorry. <laughs> if you change it, you can go to pounds, you can go to grams, you can go to ounces. However you put it in my fitness pal to figure out um, what the weight's gonna be. And then I'm gonna put my Tupperware right here on top of the scale. And then you're gonna see it's weighing it out. So I'm gonna tear it so it goes back to zero. Now I know that I need four ounces of chicken. So this is my chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the chicken off the stove, and I'm going to put my chicken in there. All right, that's three. That's that's 4.15. Let's take a little bit out, just a little bit. Oh, let's add a little bit more. All right, Man, so. That chicken heavy. That chicken is heavy. Smells good. All right, so we got four ounces of chicken in there now. And then with my chicken, I was going to pair it with the potatoes, and I needed eight ounces of potatoes. So here's my potatoes. And now, now that I have my chicken in there, I'm gonna tear it and put it back to zero. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken. I mean, back. Eight my ounces. Chicken. 
I need eight ounces of potatoes. Potatoes are heavy. Oh, shoot. I might not have enough, so I'm going ahead. Potatoes. I'm adding you know, in. Some potatoes right here too. Adding in my potatoes. Oh. oh. All those potatoes. Okay, too that's much. too much. Too many potatoes. Too many potatoes. So that's eight ounces okay. of potatoes. Boom. So I went ahead and did my chicken and my eight ounces of potatoes. So this one is good to go. And of course, I don't like to say that vegetables are free calories, but the calories are pretty limited. So if you made your free. broccoli, free, calories. Free, free, calories. free calories, they're free. So go ahead and add your oh, broccoli, add your yep. asparagus, whatever, but still put it in my fitness pal because it'll, it'll give you like 20, 30 calories added onto there and it'll um, show your fiber and all of that. And some vegetables are a little bit higher in carbs. So still put it in my fitness pal, but all we want you to focus on as far as the scale weight goes is your protein and your carbs. So once you go ahead and put that, go ahead and put your broccoli or your asparagus in there. And then this is all done. I'm gonna go ahead and top it. And then so all I'm gonna do- One of your high carb. That's yeah, that's one of your high carb meals. So then you're gonna just go ahead and do the rest of your meals like that. So you know you need a total of six high carb meals. So I'm gonna do six Tupperwares with my, what I do, salmon? Oh, yeah. with my chicken and my potatoes. So I got six of them in there. Or if you wanna switch it up a little bit, mm -hmm. you can do three of them with the potatoes and then three of them with the brown rice. Yeah, but you just so, have to measure out how much you need to, to be on, you know, to be accurate with your numbers. Right. So if you wanna switch it up and have a little fun with the variety, um, just make sure you stay on point. But yeah, all you gotta do is focus on the protein number that we calculated for the four grams, I mean for the four times you're eating, and the carbs. Literally you do those two things, every, the fat will kind of just play, uh, kind of balance itself out. It will so. balance itself out. In, in the case that you do need a little bit more fat, like on your low carb days, that's where you'll grab an avocado or you know nuts. cook with a little bit more olive oil or grab yeah. some nuts, one of those things just to kind of get that extra fat in because you have room for those calories. So we don't want you to starve yourself either, but for you just sure. have to be smart with it. Yeah. Um, now let's say you wanted to do the salmon and brown rice because you have six meals for the week. So let's say you did three with the potatoes and chicken and then the other three with the salmon and brown rice. So we're gonna do the same thing because I went ahead and got my numbers for my salmon. I know I need five ounces of salmon. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my salmon in there. So that's, that's right about five ounces. That, it's at 4.91. Oh, you know what? We need a little bit more protein. Huh. Let's, uh -oh. put, let's put the hair on there. <laughs> just, a little, just a little bit more protein. Um, so we have my five ounces of salmon, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do my cup, my cup of brown rice. So here's half a cup, and all I'm gonna do is measure out my cup. That's half, and then boom. I got my cup of brown rice. So don't worry about the scale weight on that one. Yeah. Because that one we you, know we you, um, we put it in my uh, fitness pal and my fitness pal cup. told me that the grams of carbs that I need equals out to one cup. So you'll just measure it out. Um, and that gives you your high carb meals. Now let's go to our low carb meals. Yeah. So, so have we even calculated what we need for low carb? So we know that on our low carb meals our protein is going to be the same. So all of the protein, the chicken and the salmon that you cooked it's still gonna stay the same. So I know I need um, the four ounces of chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my four ounces of chicken in here. This is gonna be my low carb. Whoa, way too much chicken. So, so I, have my, I have my four ounces oh, of chicken. That's okay. at 4.12. And being that this is gonna be one of my low carb meals, I'm not gonna add any brown rice. I'm not gonna add any potatoes. I'm just gonna put my vegetables in there, whether it be broccoli, asparagus, Whatever veggies, you know, making. Yeah, you're only gonna have 11 grams, so you can't add a lot of stuff in there. So yeah. I would really say load up on vegetables and really just get a lot of fiber in your diet. Um, you know, that's gonna help you. It's gonna help reduce your carbs and it's gonna help you stay a little fuller too. So that's literally how you do it. It's not, it looks really challenging, it looks complex, but once you kind of get in the hang of it, once you kind of get it going, it's going to be easy. Yeah. And you're going to be able to stick with it. And then it takes all the thinking out of it. So just imagine if you got all your meals already prepped. Like you don't have to think about, you know, I need to track this. I need to do this. You know, you already know everything is on point and everything is aligned. Um, so I hope 
you know, is this is this pretty much? Do we pretty much hit everything? I think we hit everything. The, just to kind of sum it up, you get your calories per day. You figure out what you need in carbs and protein, and that's really the tough part is just putting it in my fitness pal and yeah. figure out what you need. After that, you just cook all your food and just weigh it out based on what you need for the day. Mm -hmm. So you get your lunch and your dinner. This these are the ones that we want you to worry about prepping is your lunch yeah. and your dinner. And then, you know. And then find you some snacks that kind of hit your your protein goal. And still um, putting it all in my fitness pal. Put pie. everything in. Try to be proactive as possible. You know, so if you're putting it in and you know that, you know, you've already got everything ready for Monday, go ahead and put everything in. Try to put everything in a day and ahead. That way you know exactly what to eat. Yes. You know what I mean? And so, for example, no I know that tomorrow is a weight day. So I'm going to go. I know I have my salmon and my potatoes already ready. It's already in my fitness pal for lunch and dinner. So I know for breakfast, I get X amount of carbs and I know I get a snack that has X amount of carbs and protein. So go ahead and put it in. Plan for the day, your protein shakes, whatever. Be proactive, make it as easy as possible. So by you prepping these meals, these meals, these meals, don't prep meals, do but by you prepping these meals, it's just making do it do easy that. on you. Okay, so if you guys have any questions about any of this, please respond back on, you know, on this message or hit us an email. Texas anything um, we really want you guys to kill it you got three weeks to do this it's only three it weeks up. three weeks of sacrifices just really getting after it only three weeks just think about that then after that we're gonna switch it up a little bit and really expedite it a little bit more all right we'll see you kill it